A cola thinks oiled flesh looks pretty tasty. Literally. I mean, there's uh, there's a limitation to the debauchery. All right, we are back to a little bit more heresy. Tons more debauchery and a whole lot of sexy situations here in Godhood. And now I know it's been a couple of days, quite a few couple of days since the last one. But I told you guys I kind of wanted to do more of this, but it would mean I would have to wrap something else up. And I recently finished the boot, which um, has free up a lot of time. So now that that's over with, I'm looking for things to replace, fill in the gaps, you know what I'm saying? So Godhood is definitely a candidate for this. So let's continue today with this one, and I will let you guys decide. I will see your interest, I will see your comments, and if there's enough interest, I'm thinking we could go ahead and now put a godhood into a regular rotation on the channel. But I'll leave it up to you guys. For now, though, we have things to do. Last time we left off, I believe, with, um, we have our sacrificial altar. Which, by the way, was not my idea. It was their idea. They're the ones who were like, hey, we should kill people for fun. And I was like, okay, well, if that's what you guys really want to do. Um, so I have to assign a master of sacrifice. Now, this person can learn Demand Sacrifice, a strong ancestral moral ability that scales might. So I'm thinking, I'll take it be fairly good. 17 years old, already really high, uh, I guess, uh, affinity towards might. I think we have found our Master of Sacrifice. Look at that, everybody's happy. Yay, we're going to kill people for sexual gratification. <laughs> oh, you scumbags have no idea what you're getting yourself into. Ate, sacrifice one of your donkeys in your honor. Oh my goodness, God. <laughs> Why are you okay with this? 1010 would sacrifice watch again. Is somebody gonna do something about this body? Just leave it there, huh? Uh, I'm not sure how healthy that is, but okay. Well, there's our sacrifice. What I want to start working now is getting even more materials so we can build more stuff. So let's get the materials gathering, which gives us a passive material gain, and also more from tribute chests. So 150, I was probably saving that for something else, but I already forgot what it was, because there's been quite a few gaps between recordings, so... Whatever, today's a new day, I'm gonna make the material gathering, and I guess we'll make that right over here. The donkeys erect the material gather with your divine aspiration, very good. Okay. So, my boys will gather away, let's go ahead and, um... Head over towards the Wandering Singers, so we need to get the reactions here done first. So let's proceed. Time here. Um, who's working on what? Montezuma? Let's continue working on Asala. Let's, uh, bless the heart here. Bless to the heart, and you're to blame. Asala's a wild thing. I can't believe you've done this. Akola is inspired to found a tradition of idol. Human Huge will surely be pleased by this. Akola, what have you done? What's, uh, what's happening over here? Everyone is having a criminal amount of fun. Let the haters hate. Happen because of festive debauchery. What are you guys doing hating on their criminal fun? They're using handcuffs over there, you see in this? No wonder. No wonder. They're doing it out in the public, so we have a couple of negative Nancys over here, like, Oh, we should probably be doing that in the sanctity of our home. Okay, let's prepare for our mission. Now, it would probably not be a good idea of me to take Ate there, because, you know, Rookie could be broken. But at the same time, as our Master of Sacrifice and our future, I think we definitely forge Ate through fire, as they say, right? So, we know for a fact that these boys are weak against the old Reds, and we got we got two Reds. So I'm thinking we send off... Are you guys weak, uh, strong and green? No. I could send Montezuma Kiwi and basically be perfectly fine along with Ate, or I could risk it and use Ate and try to level up Asala too and put Kiwi in there. But you know what? Because of Ate, I really don't want Ate being broken. So here's what we'll do we just place you here, and then Montezuma and Kiwi will just smash. Now, do we want to do Materdom? I think that's fine. Okay, let's see how this here plays out. It's really going to be a matter of Ate, you know? Using. Ate right now, early, is kind of a bad thing, but I, I have enough trust, hopefully, demanding sacrifice. <laughs> I love it. Alright, group attack. Would've preferred just like a- ow, oh, I'd've prefer just- Stop it! Would've pref- Okay, good clutch to fight. I would've preferred just like a straight-up attack, using your overpower strength. Ooh, 
Very good. Okay. Like, I feel we're gonna win this no matter what. It's just a matter of whether Ate gets broken or not. Because if Ate does get broken, we have that penalty for a while, which I'd rather just avoid. Good. Retribution. A brawl. Okay, they have one broke. That's good. That's very good. Okay. Yeah, I mean, we're gonna win. It's not a matter of that. It's just a matter of can Ate make it through? Yeah! Now, Ate, please. Oh, Ate survived just barely. Take out that godless little heathen. Who uh, who does it? I don't care. Just hey. a table through. Two HP. We got to defy at one point or another, so that really helped us out. Otherwise, no such luck. Very very good. Good job, Ate. It's an uphill climb right now, but it'll be worth it. So we got. And mind you, this is with Materdom, with a rookie in my team, so not really the best thing to do, but hey, you know, you gotta, you gotta, who dares wins, as they say. We got a special reward, too. What's happening with that arrow? Oh, what are you guys, what are you guys doing now? The donkeys have built a sacrificial temple to support human sacrifice. Joyous. Oh, so now instead of just killing them out in the streets, um, we take them up here and put them on a pedestal for everybody to see. A cola thinks oiled flesh. Looks pretty tasty. Literally. I mean, there's uh there's a limitation to the debauchery, you know? Like, um I kind of stomached the sacrifices, I guess. But now we're going into the entire cannibalism spectrum. I'm not really sure if um, that is why I've made this religion. You know, I it wasn't for eating each other, literally. You could eat each other, sure, in the the pleasurous way, but not the cannibalistic way. Now, I feel like we have so many strong boys in our squad that the Temple of Harvest could be very good. I guess uh, more experience, too. You know what? Experience, uh, the faster we level up, the better. Sure. Let's get the study, actually. Now, the study is going to be horizontal, huh? Okay, where do we want this study? <laughs> <laughs> right next to the sacrifice temple. <laughs> What's happening next door? Oh, you know, people just get you sacrificed. All right. Just try to study here, you know what I'm saying? Let's put that next to building gathering. Very cool. Ooh, I like that. This looks a lot more... This is a new building. This looks a lot more different than I remember it when I used to play. Well, Ate just uh, leveled up by getting the blessing alone, so perfect. Choose a class for Ate. And what are we going with here? Very good question. I believe we said you are going to be a red... Boy, but which one? Which one would be good? Uh, Montezuma, I believe, is set the one that's on the way out, right? Kiwi just barely hinted prim hit Prime Disciple, so Montezuma would be out, meaning a Rage Prophet would probably be best. Big old bonkin with the Rage Prophet, so yes, let's go with that one for sure. Okay, now do we wanna... I guess if she's out of the next one coming up, it's not a big deal because we just have a bunch of grunts coming up. So... Do your miracle now. Let's get this out of the way, because we don't need you for the next one. So, definitely I'm thinking of my miracle. Just pump up that attack power over and over. Matsuma, you need another one here. What are you working on? Might and cunning, huh? Sure, let's do a dance. Alright, so because um, these guys are so weak, I'm thinking we could probably even risk a 2 to Matirdom. What do you guys think? Think it's good? Do you think that's wise? It would drop our HP basically to half, but I think we're fine. And let's see, we'll definitely use Ocelot here. We'll use Kiwi, and we could even use a Cola in case we were a little bit worried. Because Montezuma apparently seems to be worn out, so we could give Montezuma some time off here. So yeah, let's just go this way here. We got a Bless. I don't think there's any way we should technically lose here. Um, they are starting off with a really huge advantage, sure, because they only have to get 25 Converties. But even so, even so, they're just Rooks, is my idea here. That's a... Uh, could have been a better start, but sure. Sexual touch, of course. Of course, it's over. It's over. Get him out of here! So you know what? That went so well that even though we could wait one more, I don't think we need to. Let's deal with the side boss right now. Why not? Um, got perps and the regular here. So let's set this as our destined mission. We won't really have a big advantage, but I still feel like, you know, we're on the very powerful side. And I think my red boys should do work now that we don't have to worry about Ite being a rookie by the time we get there. Now we're at 178 when it comes to building materials, so we can't probably build something else as well. Um, I did mention the Temple of Harvest for the Might development, so 
We could do that now. Last time we did what? Oh, the study, right. Yeah, let's do the Temple of Harvest. Get this out of the way as well. And we have just a passive development for our might, so... Temple of Harvest. Uh, let's see. Harvesting this to the shrine. And through here. Got a little bit of a gap area. The Temple of Harvest. <laughs> yeah, sure, we're putting this to the shrine. There we go. Alright, something's going on in our Temple of Harvest here. What are you guys up to now? Hugh McHuge can admire Ocelot's hot, oiled body. Well, Hugh McHuge. And some others. Ocelot, you absolute minx. Get out of here. You have no shame. No shame. I will bless you for that. What do you want? Let's continue with your blessing ritual. You deserve it after that one. Okay, it's time for the showdown with the side boss here. So how do we feel about this one a bit when it comes to the materdom anyway? Uh, you know, not sure if two, but one is something I'm definitely okay with doing. So we'll give him at least a, a one materdom into it. And let's put Ate right here in the center. And then again, we'll be going on Suma and Kiwi. So... Technically, nobody has an advantage over anybody here, but if we went green, they definitely would. So I think this one is fairly all right. We're doing this like one turn earlier, so I'm just feeling fairly confident. Now, after this one, we can go straight up into the last one or just kind of farm the weaker ones a bit. Depends on what we do here, because right now we're doing so great. I'm not really sure who is in the last one either. Ooh, that's a nice little sexy sight action you guys got going on there. But, it does indeed feel like, um, this one's ours for the taking, doesn't it? Ooh, the crit for Mate! Get him out of here! You best yield. You best yield. Not like you have a chance, we're over here blocking each other's attack. It's coming together. Our boys and girls are starting to learn to work as a team. Hmm, Defy, how about that? Well, you have a break for your defiement. See, this is kind of like my overwhelming power group. Green boys are very good at just getting, like, all the followers to turn on their own by just doing the entire central stuff. This one, we're basically just going brute forcing. Like, we're just smashing their faces out to the ground, which is <laughs> how we normally win the fights. They don't come over. We basically force them to convert over. But that's fine, you know? A win is a win, is what I'm saying. So you either come here because you want to or by force. It don't matter. You come Literally, sometimes. Alright, so I think I'm gonna bypass the last couple of turns I have left to min-max and just go after the boss now, because even though it's wise to min-max, obviously, the one thing I've noticed is that your people start to get a little bit unhappy when you don't progress. So as you can see right now, we're impatient. They want more bloodlust, and they want more people to apparently fornicate with here. So let's give them what they want. Let's go over to choose the destined mission. We will be going after them. Set that one up. And one thing I've also noticed too is that we have already an inspect and adopt religious tenant and tradition. So, what more can we add? That's a very good question. Let's find out what we want to do. Happiness from pleasure, 10 fate. I think um, a little of happiness could be good right now. Why not? So we've done festive debauchery, right? We have no idea what joy joyful sermons bring. So, let's adopt. Let's just focus on the fun parts of Stonk Donk, shall we? Yes, and hopefully... Make us all happy again. Ate professes the merits of joyful sermons to the donkeys. Ooh, wait a minute. I think this is very important. Grants ability powers. Yeah, you know what? Let's grab the sunstone. Um, I guess I could probably be... You know what? I, I don't mind that next to the sacrificial area. Grants one ability point to one disciple. I mean, let's do it now and then we'll have five days of cooldown. Yeah, yeah. So this should... Um, let's continue working on Ate, our future here. Definitely. So that gives you one ability. We could hold off on that and then use it for a level two. Well, let's get rid of the the bra, which is the weakest one, obviously. So, we are ready to move on to the next land. All we gotta do is bring you guys down. I'm fairly confident everybody's good. Yes. So, Montezuma up here. Ate right in the middle as our leader. Kiwi right over here. Do we give uh, Materdom? We could do at least one, I would say, maybe. I mean, we're giving them 40 right off the bat, huh? Oh, they already start with 20. Yeah, because they're they're the leading religion here in this island. So, yeah. Um, what do we need to win first to 100 wins? Let's go. Let's go. 
Probably a bad idea, but we'll see how it plays out. I love this arena that we got here, too. We got a crazy-ass skull right there in the background. Ooh! It was a great idea! Is what it was! Line Rage? It was an amazing idea, is what it was! I should've gone with two at this point! And the block with the evasion! Teamwork, boys! It's all about teamwork! Get it out of here! I'll tell you, finish it up! 42! Oh, the work on it is paying off splendidly! This is your leaders? These are your kings? So what happens now? I'm curious as to what happens to this new game, technically speaking now. After you beat an island. So, we got rewards, we got a hedonist. Disciples will be recruitable. These disciples have totems with talent of cunning and charisma, okay. We also now get stronger initiates coming in. They get a plus two to all stats, okay. We have an extra disciple slot, so we have more people now to train. And we got six to happiness as well. New followers, tribute chest, special rewards. But where do we go from here? The sacrament has proved your might over the elder's ancestors. The elder's followers have been converted. Your disciples pray for your judgment on these heathen elders. Pleasure. Get hot and wild, my disciples. That is how we celebrate our victories here. Your disciples come together to enjoy each other in the old city to honor you. Everyone shouted Hugh McHugh's name. Enjoy. Even the elders had fun. Pleasure will bring holy pleasures to this world. Oh, imagine that. Pleasure will bring pleasure. Who would have thought it? Convert the world to curse. We got our first sunstone as well. The newly converted elders bring you a puzzling offering. We always honored the ancestors with the sunstone. Now we were... See, we were misguided. Prophecies have foretold that a true god would come and assemble six pieces of the sunstone and bring the world to its final fate. That sounds very climatic. All right. Sure, I'll be the one to do it. And now we go off to the newfound chores. Five more, huh? I will show you all the way. Choose your next destination. Tenochtitlan, Capital Island, Fifth Sun Island, Miklan Debt Island. Oh, you Ali lovers side. Yo, these people probably know how to party, huh? It's uh, shaped like a heart, too. <laughs> I love it. All right, perfect. Well, I think we're out of time. I'm going to wrap it up here for this one. Hopefully you guys have enjoyed it. As I mentioned at the start, if you guys want to see more, there's now spots. So we could definitely fit this one to the regular rotation. So... I'll see how you guys um, react to it, and if it's good, we'll definitely keep it around. Hopefully you guys enjoyed. I'll catch you next time.